a wooga. Turning Red, my favorite documentary about communism. Second favorite. Actually, I lied to you. It's a coming-of-age movie made by Pixar. And it's their first one directed by a woman. Asterisk. Or a millennial. Or an Asian Canadian. Or an Asian Canadian millennial woman. Domi Shi was born in China but raised in Toronto, Canada. Her time at Pixar began in 2011 when she took an internship as a storyboard artist. And while working on Inside Out, she developed a side project that would eventually become Bao, the short that played before Incredibles 2 and the first Pixar short directed by a woman. Smash the patriarchy. And right around when it was completed, she was offered the chance to pitch three ideas for a movie. One of which became Turning Red, the story of a girl who changes into a red panda. Magical puberty, as Domi Shi puts it. Pixar was drawn to the idea because they felt that the themes of growing up were relatable, and she took a lot of inspiration from her personal life when developing the setting and characters. The main characters, Mei and Ming, are very heavily based on Domi Shi and her mother. The film takes place in early 2000s Toronto, and the art style was influenced by media such as Sailor Moon and My Neighbor Totoro. On March 11th, 2022, it was released on Disney Plus, and, uh, people reacted. <laughs> So yeah, there seem to be some people who are genuinely mad about this movie's existence for some reason. Reasons? On the other side, there's also plenty of people defending this movie and complaining about the hate it gets. And yes, I am about to be one of them. I really liked it. The biggest things I've seen people complain about with this movie are the art style and the fact that it's about teenage girls and some of the struggles they face. Let me explain why those are dumb arguments and my superiority complex is better than yours. Starting with the art style. When the trailers for this movie came out, people accused it of having the dreaded CalArt style. In case you're unfamiliar with that term, it's basically what the internet says every time something looks too much like Steven Universe. And that style is defined by how simplistic and rounded it is. Give your character this mouth shape and people will claim it's the downfall of humanity, but more importantly, Pixar. And I have exactly four things to say about that. First of all, CalArts is a college, where lots of different artists graduate from, including virtually everyone who ran Pixar in its early days. Second of all, I think the style makes sense in the context of this movie because it's about teenage girls and it's probably how they see the world. And Domi Shi even described it as an Asian tween fever dream. So yeah, maybe it's completely wrong for Thundercats Roar, but it's completely right for Turning Red. Except for the fact that third of all, they were inspired by My Neighbor Totoro and Sailor Moon, like I said earlier. And it says nothing about being inspired by Steven Universe or anything, so is it really still the CalArts style at that point? You can tell that they made this movie because they had a story to tell. And I like how it's set in Toronto in the early 2000s. I like how funny it is. I like how supportive Mace friends are when they find out she's a red panda. I like how literally every supporting character is a 4Town fan. And also, props to Domi Shi for absolutely obliterating the glass ceiling. In conclusion, this movie's for girls.